As we all know, the outside is officially primed up. Now if I move to the inside, got to let that primer set for a while, so I'm going to get some inside work done while I'm at it. Got to sand the whole floor down with 80 grit. And then I'm going to get the big turbo cans I use for the underside of the quarter panels. And bed line the whole thing. I was getting carpet put over it. I was going to get real picky and put more body filler over all these patches and everything, but it's all covered up. It's not like it looks bad or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it all ready to paint and shoot it. So get this all sanded down and get to spraying. Sand it down with 80 grit. Now it's time to do some masking and go grab some paint because I'm all out. <laughs> this is what over $80 worth of spray paint looks like. Goodness gracious. All right, it's time to go. I got three more biggins. I still got about half of this one left. I got a little guy. Um, I didn't want a giant fan getting up like by the door, jamming everything. I don't want to get this on my fresh primer and plus i'm not gonna get crazy about masking the dash the dash off i'm just gonna use a little regular spray can anywhere close up there and then i'll use a big one on the rest so got this garage garage cleared out open the doors and get the spraying I 
cannot believe the finish that them cans gave this thing. It looks amazing. <laughs> I don't even want to put carpet on it. It looks so good. I'm in love with how good that looks. Like it's like it's bed line, but it's not really thick. It's got a nice, more of a smoother finish, but I'm in love with it. Came out so nice. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this stuff dry overnight. I mean, it's dry to the touch now. I'm not gonna sink it. I'd probably stain it on, be fine. But just to be safe, I'm gonna let it dry overnight, and then I'm gonna start taking the dash apart. I gotta scuff all of that. I already got my dash paint, and then I can start taping all that off, taking it apart, and get it all sprayed. But I'm in love with how this floor came out. So I've been reaching through my window because I was waiting to tore apart for primer to open the door well I want the pole and it just straight like broke the plastic handle so I ordered a metal one it's on the way so I don't have to pull this but I'm asking color matched red door handles down the inside so that'll look cool so here's a spray paint I'm going to be using for it I'm going to scuff it up adhesion promoter and slap the stuff on there I use it on my doors and they're still holding up just fine so I'm real excited to use that stuff on the dash because I know it's going to work great Here on my dash as you know with all this tan this thing was an Eddie Bauer and well it didn't really say much it just was all faded <laughs> but that came off a couple holes back here I just, just don't want any holes there when I did this thing in high school I saved one of the badges and um, I'm gonna drill this hole out a little more drill another hole and I'm gonna have this thing sitting right there I'm gonna paint it red so red on a black dash it looks pretty cool so a couple drill bits here I'm gonna drill a hole for the left side for it to sit in there then I'll probably put some double sided tape on the back just to make sure it don't fall off so be cool little touch on the dash BAM! just like that probably don't have to play sticking glue and everything's already sitting there pretty good that's gonna look sweet can't wait to get that thing red <laughs> maybe perfect guys well here we go we're ready to rock and roll got everything masked off wiped down and tack cloth and everything's nice and clean it's ready to spray uh, i'm gonna spray some adhesive promoter just to be safe it's all on plastic and vinyl stuff so i'd rather be safe and sorry than just straight putting the vinyl stuff over top of it all so without further ado let's get to spraying
Gosh, I am in love with that. <laughs> got the dash all painted, just got it unmasked, pulled it outside, get some get some light on it. Cause man, it is dark now. <laughs> oh, this is button. Alright. But man, that stuff works amazing. I got three coats over everything. Cover is very nice. I mean it's black, I kinda figured it would, but you never know on these weird surfaces. <laughs> but nice smooth finish. Laid out nice and even. I love how that can sprayed. If you guys want to do any sort of dash paint or work, I would recommend that duplicate color vinyl stuff. That stuff is amazing. But got, I'm going to leave everything all disassembled still because I want to paint all that trim red. Have some red accents on here. My Bronco emblem red that's going to go right there where them holes are. But I am in love with how this dash came out. <laughs> I'm stoked on that. But everything's all blacked out now. I got the dash black and the floor. Obviously, I have black carpet's gonna go over it, but I got a nice durable finish up under there to protect it from any corrosion in the future. So, hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching and stick around for some more.